Let's see Tinker Doyle. I used to write short stories and send them off to little tiny literary magazines that were only read by three people. Then I started writing plays and I saw them produced and it was seeing everything that I had imagined come to life. And that is more fun than anything. It's the greatest, the greatest thrill you could have as a writer. I love, I love Ireland and uh, just all things Irish. I got hooked on it doing a play, an Irish play in college, and any chance I get to do an Irish dialect, I just jump on it. Paul Taylor always finds his man. I think of all the shows I've done here. This is definitely the most emotional. I mean, I, I, just going over my lines at night, I, you know, I'm crying. It's, uh, it's a beautiful story. Well, this play is great. I'm working with Kieran uh, Cunningham, an Irish gentleman that I haven't been able to understand a word he said so far, but I keep nodding my head yes like I do. Uh, but it's been great fun. completely different sort of set of circumstances, playing at an open-air stage, an open-air audience and, and the vibe and, the, and the, everybody comes here to thoroughly enjoy theatre, whereas sometimes in England people come to sort of criticise theatre. Kentucky Fried Chicken! <laughs> uh, here it's a completely different genre altogether, people come to the, the, the Pioneer Players to enjoy themselves. I loved working with Kieran, uh, mostly because of his sense of humour, <laughs> and I don't really share a lot of scenes with him, but I do get to maul him at one point. <laughs> So that was really fun. <laughs> In Cardiff, Fergus. 